Hi, my name is Marini Guest. I am the owner and chef of Boca Dios Catering Company. And hi, I'm Carla Arvizi. I'm the other owner of Boca Dios uh, Catering Company and School Meal Program. We're here to get you to help us pimp our bus. <laughs> we want to make our bus smooth like butter, so her name is El Mantequilla Suavecita. We bought this, we bought this um, school bus about um, eight months ago. Uh, we use it to feed 2,500 kids a week. So what do you guys think of the food? It's delicious. It's delicious. It's better than last year. What, what was the food last year? Gross. It was like I don't not know. even food. <laughs> it was like it was like rubber, like. <laughs> so we transport all of our food and our employees to each of the schools, um, feeding our kids local, fresh food. We're certified organic. And we've been able to work with closely with Maria and Boca Dios. I believe the health of the children is number one. And uh, what we do together is, is building the future for our children. And uh, I'm just so happy to be part of that. It's important that we keep our staff and ourselves safe while we're feeding our kids, however. So we are asking you all to help us to fix up our bus and purchase another bus so we can feed three more charter schools come this August. This tire was blown twice. It was blown twice within a two week span. So I'm pretty sure that there's something wrong with the axle. So it's taken off the whole fender, as you can see. Um, this actually happened when the bus fell. Hydraulic lift for the back. And that way we're not um, picking up you know, 150 pound boxes on there. We're not hurting our backs. It needs to get um, sealed. We also have some more rust spots in here that need to get sealed um, to pal pass all the rest of our house inspections. We want to paint it. We want to just style it so everybody notices and we're that bus in Albuquerque. So that everybody can say, I saw that bus. Bus, yeah. Uh, my name is Norman. Um, I'm actually a server and a driver. I drop off the food and also pick up and I serve kids. The food that we ate in the time when I was growing up was mostly government food, government um, commodities and stuff like that. Most of the foods that weren't really grown. Maria from Bocadillos, she's always getting their, her products from us like salad mix, arugula, whatever we have during the season. They get their healthy products from us, organic, no pesticides, no chemicals at all. And then in that way, we keep the business and going and, and local business, local work, we produce our own work, and then we keep the people healthy with, you know, healthy production. We bring food for kids, they're smiling, the face is bright. So that's very um, important. It's good, man. It's good. <laughs> out feeding breakfast to 50 kids at one of the charter schools called Tierra Dentro. By the next semester we had another charter school that was interested in us called Nuestros Valores. We started doing breakfast and lunch for them along with another charter school called Papa. So we're working on getting three more schools so by, by August 2013 we have six schools so that we can provide our, our kids way better food, better health, you know that they'll be way more healthy and know, have, expand their palate to know what, what good food actually is and you can't, you don't have to buy, get everything out of a paper bag from Burger King or McDonald's. It's yummy! Eat <laughs> it's, 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 it's all about education. Education on food, on healthy living, on eating healthy. And that's what it is, el mantequilla suavecita. <laughs> it's our name. So we just want to make her smoother than what she is. <laughs> <laughs> You're not talking about this one. Yep. <laughs>